this next topic, we just saw a Model Y purchase breakdown with all the different fees and everything, and uh, it looked pretty interesting and different. So let's explain this because it could be confusing to some of you, especially when Tesla's got confusing pricing on their website. Let's talk about exactly what is going on here. And if you if you're buying a Tesla Model Y, you're going to be running into the same issue, and you might have the same questions. Really, not the issue of this, but this is pretty interesting. But let's jump into it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. So this is our kind of our segment where we've been talking about how Tesla pricing is shady. It's different. It sets the wrong expectation from the get-go, especially when you have a price like this listed on the main website as Model Y for $29,490. But if you take a look at it, you can see it's actually after the federal tax credit and estimated gas savings, which in some places, your gas savings is not going to be that much, especially in high cost of living areas like California and other cities. But this is the post that we actually saw that got us piqued our interest. Shout out to a Typical Strength 152 on Reddit t- Tesla Model Y price explanation. Hey everyone, I'm new to the US and helping my aunt buy a Tesla Model Y. Can someone explain why the Model Y or the white model is priced at 50630 while the website lists 30490 estimated savings? Does the 50630 already include the tax credit? So let's unpack this a little bit because there's some big numbers in this. We've got a 9.99% APR for 72 months through Tesla Finance LLC. This is much higher than what the advertised rate is or the lowest advertised rate of a Tesla Model Y, which is actually going to be 6.39 or 6.49% whenever Tesla wants to make their updates because you can see it just showed 6.49%. But this person is getting approved at a much higher rate at 9.99%. Cash down payment, $12,657. This is probably assuming that even though this person might have decent credit or not, Tesla, you can see they want a good amount down. They probably, it looks like they want 25 to 30% down, which we actually recommend to people that are buying, well, not, we don't recommend, but we try and set the expectation that if you are a first time buyer, even if you've got good credit, good credit card history, but if you're a first time auto loan buyer, Tesla is going to want 10 to 20 to maybe even 30% down. We've got 72 months at $703 a month, nine. 9.99% amount finance at 37,972 after the 12,652 for a total price of 50,630 or 7,003. Of course, we can't figure out here what type of vehicle they actually bought in terms of which model of the Model Y, but we can kind of backtrack a little bit here. They probably bought like a long range at 47,990. They probably didn't get an inventory discount. Maybe they got a $2,000 one. They, I'm not sure if they did factor in the 7,500 or probably they did because depending on what place they actually live in, depending on if they live in like a place that has, depending on if they have like a place that lives at high sales tax, then this could have been factored in. Most likely it did get factored in and this includes all all of that in here, but still definitely pretty interesting to see all these big numbers thrown around and it still is a relatively high payment of $703.28, but still very interesting to see what is going on here and it gives you a clear expectation if you're in this same boat of what payment you might be expecting for a Tesla Model Y. Let me know if you have any questions on this. This should be very straightforward on what is going on here, but certainly there's plenty of ways to get a lower monthly payment on your Tesla, including credit unions, maybe even getting a better rate through Tesla financing. There's strategies through that as well. But if you're looking for the lowest monthly payment for your Tesla, that's where channel sponsors like Tenant come into play. Tenant is an approved Tesla financing partner and can get you the lowest monthly payment for your loan. They can do this by deferring a portion of their loan, maybe even that 7,500 pedal tax credit. So definitely check out Tenant down below in the description. And they're given a free electric vehicle charger if you go through Tenant and go through the installation. If you want to see what Tenant's offer is, no obligation, you can actually go to their website and click the apply button for a soft inquiry check to see what their offer is on a brand new Tesla. So definitely check out Tenant down below in the description. And thank you to Tenant for sponsoring this video and a bunch of other videos this month. But let me know what your questions on this are. I mean, certainly it is a higher rate and a lot of these big numbers are going to give you a bigger monthly payment.